Well, I'm Aaron James Drappen, 41 years old, graphic designer here in Portland, Oregon. I make logos and posters and field notes and just all sorts of stuff out of my, uh, shit, all sorts of stuff out of my shop here in Portland, Oregon. So, but you can probably put that together some way, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it again. So this big, big building, I have a space inside this big building, and that would be the Draplin Design Company. And that's where I make logos, or think up, you know, my contributions to field notes. Now, field notes are done in Chicago, but my little chunk's down out here, you know? So, yeah, up there on the fifth floor, that's where my little, I don't even know what you'd even call it, my mess is at, you know? All my dead stuff, all my archives, all my stock for my merch, everything is up there, you know, in one spot, so, yeah mail call today and man this is fucking cool okay these are old rv stickers and hand painted sports and wildlife decals <sighs> the shark <laughs> big old fucking marlin and then just the majestic mountain goat so there's a big old largemouth bass i don't fish i just like creepy stickers Down at Nixon, it's make the little shit better. Yeah. We had some different words when I was there, 2002 to 2004, working for you know through Cinco Design. Seeing that level of scrutinization of the tiniest thing on a watch hand, which is a tiny little piece, every little character meant something, right? Every little finish meant something to the larger picture. And when you strip a watch away all the different parts, then you see that applied to the bags and the wallets and all the stuff in the ad campaigns. You know, it was just impressive to see that level of consideration go that far. For Brian Bedell, you know, my partner over at Field Notes, to go and look for the little crusty little copper, that was a choice we had. Now we can get black and silver and copper, whatever it is. He knew to go find that, you know, or for us to make a cool little water decal, you know, with the graphics on the back. These aren't easy to make, but that's the same way I saw it at Nixon. Two to a, like you're pulling your hair out. Well, that's what it takes sometimes. I mean, what, what other way is there to do it, I guess, you know? Okay, is it lunchtime? So I get this call from Nixon just saying, contribute to this artist series, and the, and the theme is called The Lost Coast. And you know, you start, you, you start digging in, you know, and it's like untouched. And that just kind of goes against where everything's at these days. You know, it's like, how can that even exist? Okay, give me the stuff, give me the stuff. Okay, okay, all right. End of the summer, you get the call, you start vectoring, you start sketching, you start researching, going back and forth with Mark, we're talking and making stuff, and here we are, and what are we in? February, and we're holding stuff. Look at that little skull, right? This thing is just insane. The way that thing stamps in there is so cool. Me, you know, starting any project for that matter, you know, I just go through all these piles of my stuff and play with these things because, you know, you're going to find something that's just like, that says Australia. I mean, that's a, a flying kangaroo whipping through. We used to celebrate places with patches, like you would go there and you would collect these places. And it's almost like, imagine going there and conquering this lost coast and you get something from it. So here's the little patches I got to make, you know, for the Lost Coast series, you know, and it's just like, the trick is to make it almost feel like shitty enough to where you would have like had to rip it off a hat. To hold these things, my hope would be that these would just work with any pile of things I've made. At least Nixon, you know, whatever, has an appreciation for this stuff. If no one else will do this, at least they did. That's cool. Yeah. So go get lost. <laughs> Look, I'm always looking for the last word. Just cut. <laughs>